What's going on guys? Welcome back to the final part of the mini truck build series. So the truck is all finished and uh, we're ready to take it for our first drive. So here she is looking beautiful in the sun. The color looks way better. It is a little bit dirty right now because I drove it around this morning and it had already snowed and got wet. But this thing looks so good in the sunlight guys. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. The clear lenses look great. We've got the box looking nice and shiny. Uh, the one thing that we do still need to do is just put a lock on the gas door here to hold it in place. But uh, I just have to find a lock and then also have a key made for it because the one that was originally on this vehicle is obviously gone. Um, the stance looks so good on this thing. We've got the door panels all finished up. So those are all wrapped in nice black vinyl. Everything came out really clean. Uh, the black carpet obviously is a little bit dirty. Um, just cleaned everything up. New bench looks nice. Just cleaned up really nice in here. Everything looks good. We've got our little uh, cup holder here. So let's go ahead and uh, take this thing for a rip. First couple days driving her and uh, looks like we're already in trouble. I guess uh, he's not a fan of the stance, not a fan of the headlights, not a fan of much in general. So we'll see what we get. All right guys, so we're, uh, we're all finished with our cop experience here. Uh, I got a Box 2 VI and if you're not from uh, BC, Canada or other provinces in Canada, who have this in place, you might not understand what that means. Basically, I've been given a uh, an inspection notice on the vehicle because the cop did not think that it was up to road standards. So I'm gonna have to go and have it inspected at a local facility and pass a full inspection to make sure it is fully legal before it can go back on the road. And I have 30 days to do so before my vehicle can no longer be driven on the road until it's passed. So we're going to go through a couple things that he pointed out that he was not a fan of and uh, explain why those may be legal. So starting off, he told me that my daytime running lights in these headlights are illegal, even though uh, these are fully DOT approved and uh, nothing is even slightly illegal about these headlights. Apparently he was not a fan. They even have built in turn signals, so I have no idea how this is not a legal setup. I think he's making up his own rules just to pull me over and uh, hassle me a little bit. So apparently, first of all, first thing he listed is headlights are illegal. Those should not be an issue to pass. I would understand if he said something about the uh, clear lenses on the taillights, but technically all of my bulbs are uh, lit correctly. So I've got a red bulb for my brake light and running light. I've got a yellow turn and I have a clear reverse. So. Um, I would have understood if he said something about those, but he didn't mention the clear tails at all. He did mention that I do not have a rear bumper because I've only got a roll pan in the back, which is fair. Um, that is technically illegal here, although I don't understand it. It is, uh, it is a law. So the nice thing is I, uh, I figured this might happen. So I left the, uh, the stock area for the bumper to go through and bolt on so that I can save myself a little bit of work in that area. And uh, obviously the main thing is he mentioned that I have poke. So here you're not allowed to have any tread outside of your fender or body lines. And obviously I've got a little bit outside, uh, barely in all honesty, it's about this much, but uh, the rest is just sidewall, but he wasn't a fan of that. So before we wrap up the, uh, the final video of the series, 
Um, I just wanted to do a final walkthrough with you guys on everything that we did to this thing throughout our, uh, our journey together here. So we'll just kind of start at the front end and we'll work our way back. So obviously we body worked the whole truck, which was probably my least favorite part about this entire experience. Um, all of these plastic pieces have been repainted. Basically every piece that you see has been repainted in uh, like a matte black to match the wrap. Obviously we did the full wrap, upgraded the headlights. We uh, painted the interiors of the corner lights, got clear lenses and a white LED for those. Upgraded the markers to clear lenses as well. Obviously we got the new wheels and tires as well which are uh, going to be great for the next person that owns this because those are brand new so everything's going to be nice there uh, cleaned up the interior a bit we got the new bench seat in here uh, carpet which is a little bit dirty and uh, clean things up in here got the door panels looking real nice and black vinyl way better than the uh the curtain fabric that was on there before that we found behind the back seat but that was pretty funny um cleaned up the box obviously we had we had holes over here and a hole in the back here. Clean that up, sprayed the whole thing, and then also sprayed this bottom liner. Added our nice, pretty, clear tails, which really just cleans up the rear end, I think. And then also, if you guys remember, we had that weird tube bumper that was on the back here, which we cut out, and then we cut this seam and added this roll pan in there so that it's uh, the same as factory. And it just looks really clean. Added license plate lights. Got all new small stuff doors. I actually just found a lock for this, so I just have to paint the lock. And then uh, that'll be the final piece to put on here. And then we can lock the gas cap. And uh, other than that, that's about it. We really just kind of cleaned the whole thing up. Obviously there were a lot of small issues. The wipers didn't work. The uh, signals weren't working. The reverse light didn't work at all. A lot of really small things to figure out. The deck inside was not working. The one thing that could probably be upgraded is the speakers but in all honesty i'm just going to leave that for the next person it's just a really small and easy upgrade for them to make well guys i hope you enjoyed the uh the whole mini truck build series i was excited this is kind of like the first build series i've really done on the channel and it's kind of like an exciting thing to do with you guys you know it was a lot of first first time wrapping first time body working a lot of like cool things to learn and a lot of cool things to show you guys on this one because it was a uh, it was a lot going through this one there was a lot of uh previous issues from uh from the owners so yeah it was a pretty cool build and uh i really enjoyed it i'm excited to drive it around a little bit get to enjoy it because obviously we're gonna have it for a bit now that we've got a we've got a vi on it so we're gonna have to pass that maybe we'll drive it around for a little bit go to a couple more meets and then uh sell it off as soon as i get home from work but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the series and once again thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one